right, here we are in a beautiful Sacramento, California afternoon, looking at it absolutely cool, way too cool, 1952 Ford 8N tractor. It's got a lot of neat stuff to it. It's a fresh restoration about a year or two ago now. Uh, it's coming out of a collection. The sun's bringing them to you. It's just, like I said, way too cool for school. Anyway, it's uh, it has the V8 conversion on it. He purchased the tractor out of Iowa from a gentleman. And uh, you could buy these tractors when they're new and some of the dealers out in the Midwest would do the conversion on the engine. And this is based on everything that I've gathered and talking to the owner and talking to other guys. The funk conversion would come with the bracketry and all the things that you would do to put the flathead V8 in it. Well, this gentleman purchased this tractor in need of a restoration and he, and he brought it back here to Sacramento and then it was shipped to uh, Idaho Wrecker Sales in uh, Mountain Home, Idaho. They buy a lot of wrecker bodies and so on and so forth from him and he asked him as a favor to do a restoration on it. So it took, you know, about a year or so. They did a restoration. They went through everything on the tractor basically to make sure everything was right. The engine's been checked out and done. Uh, there are a lot of custom stuff on it. It has polished Edelbrock aluminum heads on it. These headers themselves were custom made for the tractor. You can see all the welds and so on and so forth. In fact, the headers cost three grand to make, about 2,800 bucks. Anyway, top to bottom, it's just beautiful as you see as we walk around here. All the rubber's new, has these smoothie style wheels on it with the hubcaps, Ford V8 hubcaps in the back. We're gonna kinda give you an idea of the detail on this little tractor, it's just incredible. This is a thing that, uh, part of anybody's collection, if you thought you had everything, this would be a nice addition to it. Um, bent spoke wheels have been installed on the front with the Ford V8 hubcaps. Uh, Firestone uh, tractor tires on it that are literally brand new. It starts right up. It's a, still a 6 volt system on it. Um, looks like they put like a 36 Ford style bumper on the front with bumperettes. Uh, all the paintwork and everything is just show quality, not something you would expect on a tractor. There's some custom stuff to it. All the headlights work. The rear reverse light also works, which is a flip switch. It's a little windy today. The trains go by, trucks go by, but you're getting a feel here. I'm going to kind of give you a little peek underneath here. As I walk around, I'm going to kind of, you'll see I do usually do these in sections, but I'm going to cover everything in one walk around here. Again, we fired it up today. They drained the fuel out of it, put fresh fuel in it. Here's the distributor right here. Again, we believe it to be an 8BA style or era block, one without the built-in bell housing. You can see where they use the adapter here. Uh, called on some of my friends, 24 stud head. Uh, all the wiring's been redone. Fuel tanks right here. You can access the fuel tank right there on the top. Again, a little bit windy. Trying to give you a close-up of everything as I'm covering it as I go around here. You gotta dig it. When I first saw the pictures and they called me out to do this, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Anyway, a lot of money and time spent on this jewel. He probably paid about 10 grand for the tractor, shipped it here. Spent another 20, 30,000 or more on the restoration. A lot of it was uh, uh, not recorded because you don't want to let the, your significant other know how much you spent on a project like this. But it uh, be a great fun addition to anybody. Maybe you got a collection out on the farm or maybe you're just a guy that just needs to have everything and there you go. But uh, just a neat deal. This light, obviously they restored everything. You can see all the CAD hardware, so on and so forth. Uh, the Ford script, you can see the reflection of the paint quality on the back here. Looks like they did an industrial red on it. All the hardware is there. Probably will never use it as a tractor again. It's just a fun thing to use. Give you kind of a back view there. We'll hop up on it and kind of give you a feel and then we'll show you Ed uh, up on it, moving it forward, and we'll rev it up a little bit for you, so on and so forth. All the gauges here, this here, so you know this is the choke. This is the front headlights down here. It's got a temp gauge right there, amp gauge right there, oil pressure gauge down there, 
has a four-speed box with reverse. This is the starter button, and this is the ignition to turn it on before you do that. Anyway, I'm thinking it's about time for you to get on and watch us pull it forward. Thanks for coming to Spuds Garage, where we really always find some cool stuff. Make sure you look at the uh, uh, other things that we have at Spuds Garage. We have some other items from this collection that are just spectacular. Anyway, right, he's running and pulling it back up for us. Pull it up. Thought we'd do a little video of it running here for you. Charging 30 amps. Oil pressure is, oh boy, 40 pounds. It's key where you turn it on and off, and the starter button's right there. Hey, thanks for coming to Spud's Garage. This one's a gas.